Hello everyone. Today's trip is to Dunstaffenage Castle, great historic place to go and visit just outside Oban. And while I'm there, I'll also show you something much more modern and that's Sam's Ocean Explorer Centre. So I hope you enjoy the trip and I hope you find this interesting. First things first, out of Oban, along to Dunbeg, go along to Dunstaffenage Castle and park in the car park. And then you just walk along this lane past the fantastic scenery on your right hand side in Dunstaffenage Bay. And then at the end of the path, about 400 yards up the road, you'll come to the historic Scotland office and the castle itself. Here we are at Dunstaffenage Castle. It's a fabulous place to go and visit. It's run by Historic Scotland. Great organisation and I thoroughly recommend that whenever you go to one of their establishments that you take out one of their memberships, whether it's a family membership that's about £6 a month or a single membership it's like £3 something a month. And then every time you go somewhere you'll get in for, uh, for free for you and the family. Well worth it. So Dunstaffenage Castle was built by Duncan MacDougall in 1220. He's the grandson of the famous Summerlid, who is a Norse Gaelic uh, figure in the middle 1100s. It's built on a huge rock above the Firth of Lorne, famous for being captured by Robert the Bruce in 1308, and it remained in royal hands until 1469. Another interesting point about it, Flora MacDonald was held there in 1746 before being sent to the Tower of London for aiding Bonnie Prince Charlie. Fascinating place. Now, when it's open, you can go and you can read all the boards, get the history pack from the Historic Scotland office and find out far more than I'll ever tell you in this wee video. Then once you've been to the castle, just go around the back and you can wander down to the beach. Loads of people go down here and skim rocks or go skinny dipping in the the lovely shallow water there, it's excellent. And then if you follow the path through along the coastline and through the trees, it's an excellent walk for the dogs. And as you wander through the path, you'll come across the Dunstaffenage Chapel that dates back to the 1200s. And that's uh, fully information boards as well. And it'll tell you all about the McDougalls and then the Campbells who uh, used that chapel. Keep walking through the woods and you'll get to a bigger beach this time. Nice sheltered beach and this beach is used by a lot of canoeists and paddle boarders or even uh, folk having a wee swim. It sits right next to the Scottish Association of Marine Science, SAMS as it's more commonly known. SAMS is a research centre, it's a higher education facility and it opens its doors to members of the public and you can go and visit its Ocean Explorer Centre and they'll tell you everything that they do and I thoroughly recommend you go and do that. Once you leave there, walk across the road, back over onto Dunstaffenage Bay and you can follow the coastline round back to the car park at Dunstaffenage Castle and you've come full circle. That's us come full circle in our wee trip to Dunstaffenage Castle. And I took the opportunity to stop off and uh, show you where Sam's and the Explorer Centre is as well. So, hope you enjoyed that wee trip. Now you know where to go and what you can do and the fabulous sights you can see. So, till the next time, 